perfect blend of pure malt and grain whiskey. Enjoy. That's what it reminds me of, malt liquor. <laughs> Start the video. If you're enjoying the content Room 6 is putting up, please make sure you subscribe down there and hit the bell so you don't miss an episode. While you're at it, feel free to like and share, and uh, yeah, let's go. Welcome to Room 6, the channel dedicated to the local Las Vegas music scene, the people that make it, and sometimes the whiskeys that help the scene sound better. Um, I'm Josh. Is that the new intro? It is when I got oh, whiskey I in my hand. That. I just came up with that right that, now. That every time. That's it. There you go. Perfect. Um, that was a beautiful moment of creativity and, and fluid speech. There you go. Hi, I'm Sean. I'm Josh. And uh, together we're... We are wild. No, just kidding. I, dude, I'm neither wild nor stallion -esque. I'm so not looking forward to that movie. Oh, I'm so excited for it, though. No, I finally saw John Wick. My nostalgia is excited for it. Total non-whiskey thing, but I finally saw John Wick 3. That was my birthday present to myself. And then... When you think about the trailer for Bill and Ted's three, you're just like, oh my god, what'd they do to him? Okay, but John Wick 3 scale one to ten. I haven't seen it yet. Have you seen either of the first two? Uh, yes. Easily as good. Oh, it answers some questions. Oh, nice. There it, we go. It, it introduces some things like some new oh, boundaries. Oh like yes. Leaves it open for a four or a spin-off universe. Yeah, oh, wasn't actually, there, there was a show that was gonna be on Netflix about that, right? Yeah. Hi, welcome to Drink It in Movies. Anyway. Hi. Sorry. <laughs> um, oh, that'd real be, quick. That'd be a nice thing. No, they to totally set it up for the fourth one. It, 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 I'll, I'll tell you the very last line. Lawrence Fishburne, you know, he was he's in the second one. Yeah. He's in the third one. Lawrence Fishburne says to John Wick, I don't know about you, but I'm pissed off. What about you, John Wick? Are you pissed off? And he says, yeah. Meaning, oh, shit's about to go down. It, everything else it does, before. It does the same thing where, I think it was the second one that ended, and it was like, oh, you've been burned, basically. Oh, yeah, he's like, good news, you have an hour, and then every single person is coming to kill you. Right, yeah. And it's... Yeah, it's like, I'll give you an hour head start, and it's like, that's where it starts. Oh, shit's gonna go down. It becomes a trope. That is, it is such a... It's not only... It's not just a trope, but it's such a good storytelling device. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be hard to see how the next one overtakes that. When you see the globalness of this whole thing, you're just scale like... scale of it. Yeah. yeah. By the way, Halle Berry is a badass in this movie. Okay. It's Halle Berry, but... No. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Imagine if Storm was Wolverine. Okay. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. I, you're gonna I also... Talk. I watched Gothica, so... Ooh. Yeah... I, it, yeah. different ones, different ones. And I watched Catwoman. Suffice to say, I'm very uh, glad I waited to watch that movie until I knew my kid was asleep. All right, what do we have here? We have Kinsale. Irish what we Kinsale. have is, as some of you know, in a video I did earlier. By the way, hi, Whiskey Tribe. It's been a minute. We're back here. Um, just so you know, we both are definitely not COVID affected, right? I want to say negative just for the ambiguity. <laughs> anyway, we made sure that you know we're we're safe and um, we are we've taken precautions. Plus, alcohol kills everything, right? But um, I got some birthday presents, as some of you know. This is one of them. We're gonna do a review here of Kinsale Irish Whiskey. Um, don't know too much about it except. Except the blurb that's written on it. No, it, it it's apparently finished in ex bourbon casks. So, just a uh, quick question for you. What's that? If Irish whiskey is typically finished in ex bourbon casks. Okay. No. It's Wonderful. Not. Let's go in for the nosing. Yes. The mooch is going to have some homework to do for the next time he brings whiskey it's over and does not do research. Not finished in bourbon casks. Irish whiskey. What is Irish whiskey typically finished in? Okay. Okay. Uh, let us know. Funk. This is funky. Um, I've never smelled a funky Irish whiskey before. That's kind of weird. 
He didn't do any research for this at, 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 at all, really. But it's a perfect blend of pure malt and grain whiskeys, and to me, I'm definitely getting some skunky beer. It smells like fluorescent yellow highlighter. <laughs> there it is! Back in school, all right. <laughs> Just simplify everything. Just kind of hit the nail too far on the head. Another birthday present is this shirt. I like my whiskey straight, but my friends can go either way. Slancha. That's interesting. I've just gone on a roller coaster. What about you? No. It just kind of went like. No. No? No. Nope. All right. What did you get? I got. Hang on. I got a little iodine. It's the ethanol. I get funkiness. Which we knew was coming. It's like a sour. But then on the very, very end, I got this weird little sweet note. I don't know what it is. It's in the caramel, creme brulee, burnt sugar, yeah. I was thinking, chocolatey, I was thinking that coffee, somewhere around there kind of note. I was thinking that icing you get like on Arby's cherry turnover or something, you know? A what? That, that white icing you put on cupcakes or whatever it's cinnabon icing yeah like icing sure okay yeah. but it was just this like little bit of touch the tip of my tongue for a second but it didn't belong it, none no of, i don't I, nothing, none of this belongs none not, it didn't stand out to me everything was like everything was pretty muddled yeah this is supposed to be at least three years i believe or is that the other one no never mind um, triple distilled. I don't, I don't know what they were distilling it with. I don't get any of the bacon spices really. It's so overpowering. Where whereas a a, a peated Malt. might overpower with the the smokiness and the iodine. This is just funky. This is not a. I would not give a friend to this. Sorry. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> There's um, there is a note you're right at. I think it's cherry, but like a black cherry, or a not a not a sweet cherry. I, no, I, it's a it's a sour cherry. Hmm. Jesus, I'm I'm die, I'm trying to dive into this. I am I'm too. getting sour cherry and then something really muddled. Um, I still gotta go with like a toffee chocolate kind of. It's not even coffee, like cough syrup or anything. It's no, it's no, it's like super sour cherry, like like. Uh, um, yeah, I. It gives you that lactic acid buildup in your jaw. Right, not that. Hey, this is a good appetizer. I'm ready to eat my meal. Not the salivating, the the clenching of the jaw, like. Oh, this is something's about to hurt. <laughs> right. Yeah. Or or I've got an open wound kind of thing. Yeah, right? but even then, even that note itself is still pretty muddled. Like we normally really like to, you know, find the good things that I'm having a hard time here. Sorry, Kinsale. There's still there's still a I mean there's some something sweet in there. There's still a buttery note to it. There just, is. That's what it is. I just can't tell if it's like buttery pastry. Non-stick spray. Pam. Yes. Pam. Hi, Pam. Uh, it, it totally reminds me of yeah. the, someone sprayed the inside of my Glencairn with that and then yes. poured in some blue blue, 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 blue cheese. Some watered down <laughs> funky whiskey. Yeah. I, I'm, I, I'm going to drink it as fast as I possibly can to get rid of it. This will be definitely oh, going oh, ice. You want a you want a trick for that? By the way, if you're trying to dilute whiskey, something really easy uh, to do. What? Oh yeah, San Pellegrino. San Pellegrino. Water it down, especially if it's oil heavy. Yeah. Water it down. Get it below proof and just pound it. No, I'm just gonna put it on ice and let the or, ice. Or or have uh, I would, you know you don't have you can't have friends over. 
Yeah. I mean, you could try and eloquent as you, you could try and decant it. I'm. I, I say you. Uh, I've never said this ever in my life. I am truly sorry that I gave this to you to drink. Oh, you didn't have the Ambrose banana whiskey, did you? We th- we've heard that before from you, and I don't want it because oh. I don't like. I do not like artificially. I felt things. so bad for buying it, <laughs> for letting other people taste it, for drinking it myself. Oh, no, wait. No, wait. I'm sorry. I misspoke. I entirely misspoke. That was a gift to me. I was, I was on <laughs> vacation. That was a gift to me. It was awful. And the guy who bought it knew that it was going to be bad. So oh, that's so, like so that's like it was a waste of forty fucking dollars, but I still drank it because it's still at the end of the day it's forty percent. I've done that with somebody with Goldschlager. Oh, buddy, no! His name's Frankie Marino. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> hey, it, they, I was like, hey, I'll buy the band a shot. <laughs> God, I remember when I did shots of Goldschlager. I was really young. You know what, Northern California winter, it's really good when you're out in the parking lot. Drunken nip- Dude, you do know that those movies. heavy metals, like the flakes and the heavy metal flakes in there, they don't go anywhere. They're just in your body forever. Excellent. All right, heavy metal poisoning. My self worth just went up. All right. <laughs> That's the kind of confidence you need. Yeah. Shall we rinse? And I don't even know. Do you want to try with some water? No. Okay. I don't. Then I think this is going to be a short video. We're going to say. Thanks, but no thanks to Kinsale Irish Whiskey. I've never said this about a review, but I'm really sad I did this. Um, I, my family gave it to me. I'm going to beat them soundly with a sock full of dead kittens. <laughs> just kidding. I'm just kidding. Just kidding. But honestly, I'm really sad at, that I, I have all this left. I'm not going to throw it out. It's a gift. It's money spent out of my account. Uh, you know what you can do is add that to a brown butter sauce. Oh, use it for cooking. Will that get rid of the funk? Yes. Huh. Looks like Daddy's going to make himself a little brown, maybe bread pudding with some... Uh, bread pudding with brown butter. Yeah. You can also do uh, like a rum cake, but do whiskey instead. Now it's become a cooking show. Hey, you know... Everybody has a bottle of liquor they're trying to get rid of. Right. Post down below the bottle that you're trying to get rid of, and I will comment and tell you what to do with it, or give you an idea that maybe you haven't thought of. There you go. Bam. Boom. Bam. On my emerald. <laughs> Salt thing. Anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, thanks for dealing with it. And honestly, good luck at it. Hopefully, we kept you from making the same mistake. But yeah, definitely hit down below um, and say what your disappointing Thank whiskey you was. Know. Thumbnail. Thumbnail? Which one? That thing's your thumb. Anyway. Yeah. Oh, God. Seriously, thanks for watching. If you want to see more videos like this, click up in the corner, whichever one it is. It's in selfie mode. I never remember. Uh, please click subscribe if you haven't already. Click the bell. Uh, like, share, all that jazz. You know what to do. Really appreciate you watching. Really appreciate you being on your show. Talk. Post. Please. We interact. Remember to be amazing. Stay safe, stay strong, stay supportive, and we'll see you next time. Stay out of trouble. On room six. Ba-da-bum, ba-da-bum. <laughs> Says the drummer. <laughs>